Welcome back. This is the Retro Horror Academy. My name is Daniel Richardson, and we're going to be looking at the year in horror, 1916. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of a dry year for us horror fans, especially back in 1916. Ain't a whole lot going on. Uh, if you remember in the last episode, I spoke about at the November of 1915, there was a horror serial that was released around November. Um, Less vampires. I'm trying to save an accent, I ain't pulling it off. But um, that came out then, and it's still playing in the beginning of 1916. So, yeah, I guess we just you know go ahead and get into the actual rankings. We do have two horror films we're ranking, so we'll be giving out a Golden Skull as well as uh, the old Silver Skull. So let's get into what were the top two horror films of 1916. Up uh, first, number two, and the winner of the Silver Skull Award. Basically, what it's about is this guy is creating a serum to help uh, with intelligence. You know, it's flowers for Algernon kind of shit. So what he's trying to do is he's trying to make this serum, make you smarter. However, there are numerous failed experiments. Like he keeps trying out people and it's resulting in mutations. These people are literally being turned into fucking monsters. <laughs> These monsters, however, band together and form their own gang. And the leader of that gang, it's a guy with uh, blood-stained eyes or crimson-stained eyes. And so anyways, He's the ringleader. They're causing chaos throughout the town. And so it's up to this detective to try to bring him down. Put him to justice. Hard justice. Anyways, when this came out, it bombed. It was a uh, critical and financial uh, misfire. So, yeah, that's why it's clearly the number two of uh, the two. So, Silver Skull. So that leaves us with one spot. This is the number one film of 1916, or sorry, number one horror film of 1916, and the winner of the prestigious Golden Skull Award. A convict escapes from prison and then gets kind of betrayed while he's you know, out and then gets sent back to prison. However, when he gets out, he's got nothing but revenge on his mind. This is a uh, film from Denmark. Uh, it's a morality tale, I guess is the best way you know to call it. It feels definitely more drama, but it definitely gets horse to the end. Horse is that a, we're not that kind of show, are we? Uh, no, it definitely dips his toes into the horror genre by the end of it. It feels like a home invasion movie, and this dude is pretty, uh, he's pretty, you know, pissy and angry, and he's, he's searching for his revenge. Um, I enjoyed it. I, I thought, you know, uh, when I had to look up, see what past critics thought, there wasn't really a whole lot said about it, but this film, I think, you know, for what it was, really good. I will say this, and it's kind of, I mean, I don't know, let's take this with a, a, a pinch of salt, but... You know, clearly I have not seen, like, the first runs of any of these movies, obviously. They're all over a fucking hundred years old. So, like, okay, I haven't seen, you know, House of the Devil when it first came out in 1896. But, you know, all the prints that we get, you know, a vast majority of them are on YouTube. They're all grainy as hell, not the best picture quality. This is the first uh, film that I watched that was just like, yeah, this actually looks pretty good. Like, it actually has, you know, a decent... Uh, quality of film. So I don't know if they just preserve it more or better over there in Denmark or what's going on. Um, but yeah, uh, it looked it looked really good. And honestly, this movie had a lot of, of uh, modern film techniques. Now this is stuff that maybe sounds a little ridiculous, but you gotta remember back in the day, this was innovative. This was new. You know, we're getting flashbacks. 
uh, you know, we're seeing a man's conscience kind of, you know, play out front. We kind of saw, I guess, uh, earlier with, um, oh, the Edgar Allan Poe, Telltale Heart, but what Telltale Heart? I'm blanking on that name already. Uh, I'm sure I'll put the caption down there below of what that movie was. But still, yeah, you know, you're getting that kind of, uh, you know, you're seeing things, you know, in cinema. You're seeing what you can do with cinema now. It's not just showing random scenes. Now you can show flashback. You can show a man, you know, what he's thinking up on the screen. So I thought that was really kind of interesting. So, I mean, for all that, you know, it definitely deserves the Golden Skull, especially over the Crimson Stain mystery. Um, one thing I thought was really interesting was I, uh, this little side note, I'm sorry, it has nothing to do. The Academy's not, you know, endorsing this, you know, little bit right here. When I'm watching this movie, uh, you know, it, it finishes up, it's over. We do get kind of attacked. I don't know. I guess I'm just a. I got a dark personality. I hope it's it end more brutal, but it ends with a nice, happy ending with a little bow on it and everything. Anyways, after we get to the end of it, uh, the final. Da, 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 and it ends, and, you know, we fade to black, but then a tile card comes up. And this tile card literally just said, Slut. S L U T. Big, bold letters. But it was like part of the actual tile card. Like, it wasn't like something that someone added afterwards. That was just like, it'd be funny and had slut to the end of this movie. No, it was literally just like, they did it back then. And so I was like, wait, what, what's this? So I had to look it up, and uh, when I went to Google Translate, so I was like, well, this is a, a, a movie from Denmark. It's Danish. Let's uh, rub that thing through the uh, subtitle or through the uh, translator. And it turns out slut means end, which I guess I probably could have figured out. But it's just funny because I was like, they still use that? Like, is that still a term they use over there? Like, slut. I don't know if it's pronounced the same way or not. I just, I don't know. Slut. Same fine to me, but either way, guys, there it is. There's your Silver Skull, there's your Golden Skull, the Crimson uh, Stain Mystery, and then the winner would be, of course, Blind Justice. So, that is going to do it for this episode. So, on behalf of the Academy, my name is Daniel Richardson, and you're dismissed. <laughs>